morning. Uh, we founded DropChem to answer a really simple question. What goes on at home when I'm not there? What we quickly figured out is that if we were going to build a solution to let you know what's going on at home when you're away, we couldn't just build a camera. We had to build a cloud video service that abstracted away all of those problems and let you just focus on getting the video of the things that you care about. So that's what we built. Today, DropCam is both a Wi-Fi monitoring camera and a cloud service for your home uh, so that you can view it from any of your devices anywhere in the world. And we also record to the cloud. And one of the things that we didn't anticipate because we built this cloud service um, is that we became the largest inbound video service on the entire internet, um, which, is, which is pretty crazy. So I'm going to give you a little bit of data about what that actually means. There's more video uploaded per minute to DropCam than to YouTube by orders of magnitude. There's petabytes of data coming in every month. And there are billions of motion events that have actually been detected over the lifetime. And we're now getting to billions every year. Um, so we moved to AWS. We're taking in all of this data. So I feel like this is a good moment to, uh, to thank Werner and the AWS team for that amazing free inbound bandwidth uh, that we enjoy on EC2. It all starts with the camera. And at the camera level, we're actually taking about one gigabit per second of raw video data and compressing it all inside the camera down to 200 kilobits per second. This is critical to fit it over your home's broadband connection because upstream bandwidth is just not that, there's not that much of it in the average home. Um, and it's over a thousand X compression ratio that we're doing there. We encrypt all of that video. We send it up to a system called Nexus, which runs on EC2. Uh, Nexus is developed by us internally in Scala. Uh, which is a really cool language that runs on the JVM. And Nexus does two things. One, it can instantly mirror the video to your viewing device in real time, so all those platforms that I mentioned before, and get it into the correct format so that you can view it there. Um, number two, about 40% of all cameras on the DropCam ecosystem are on cloud video recording, which is an amazing number. Uh, so it actually takes that data, all that video data, and stores it in a custom data structure that we developed to sit on top of DynamoDB and S3. We also have a pretty standard web platform that's Python on Postgres. We use all the standard CloudFront, Route 53, all the tools there. Um, it's nice to be able to just kind of have a, with all the other technical problems that we deal with, run a pretty standard web platform on top of AWS. We not only take in lots of video data, but we take in lots of metadata coming from the cameras as well. For instance, Wi-Fi signal strength. Um, so any part of the DropCam ecosystem can send data to this platform called the DropCam Analytics Platform, uh, which punches all that data with EMR uh, and puts it into an online database so we can query it with our admin tools. That's about 300 million data points added every single day. So that's a lot of data as well. Uh, but the cool thing that we can do is for things like Wi-Fi, which is usually a black art determining whether one driver is better than another, uh, we can actually A-B test Wi-Fi drivers. <laughs> and uh, this is a whole new thing. We're familiar with A-B testing from the web world, but now we can bring that to hardware, deliver better Wi-Fi performance in your home by using data to solve that problem. So I think that's really cool. A more user-facing feature uh, of sending uh, lots of data up to the cloud is uh, this new feature that we just launched in the beta called Activity Recognition. Activity Recognition is the first uh, computer vision algorithm to be launched at this scale. Uh, it actually tries to automatically categorize the motion events that happen on your camera and so you can ignore and subscribe to just the things that you care about, uh, which is really cool. And we just launched it into beta. We're already processing about 8 million activities every day, and that's years of video cumulatively being, going through the system and running through pretty complex computer vision algorithms. So I'd like to, uh, to end with a little video to show you some of the things that people have captured with DropCam, uh, and I think we're going to cue that up here. So um, in the top left here, we have a family that, that sent us a video clip of this ninja dad moment. You develop ninja reflexes when you become a dad. Uh, that's it's just a known thing. And they caught this on video uh, with their drop cam and sent it to us to brag about it. <laughs> and, uh, and I thought that was really cool. Um, in the top right, it's kind of crazy. Uh, drop cam was the only camera recording a collapse of a bridge in the I-5. Uh, and it was the only video evidence of what happened. At the bottom left, we have a burglar that got caught in real time uh, by a user. They sent the police in, uh, caught the burglar on camera, and, uh, and actually got all their stuff back. And in the bottom right, we have Frankie the tortoise, 
who streams live from his back using a drop cam with a battery pack for eight hours a day from Lou's Pet Shop. Don't worry, PETA, he, it's a humane harness. The drop cam weighs less than a pound, and he, uh, he weighs about 50. Uh, so those are just some of the things that people have captured. That's the power of the cloud video monitoring with drop cam on Amazon Web Services. So thanks a lot, Werner, for inviting us, and thanks for listening.